Well, here I am on top of Benbridge Down on the Isle of Wight. I'm going to make my way around there, around the coast, coming through Benbridge Harbour over there, coming back up here to do a camp. It's about 10, 12 miles, that's all. And the sun is actually coming out, so let's get going. Well, I've just managed to break my tripod. It was a Chinese one, but luckily I've got a spare one in my bag, a Joby. So I'm using the Joby at the moment. It was a cheap one, but lucky I've got a spare. So I'm making my way along Benbridge Beach now, towards Benbridge, basically. Well, this is, well, I suppose it is Benbridge really where I am. Anyway, I'm making my way along there and uh, it's a good 25 minute walk along the beach. I'll show you more when I get there. There's some lovely beach huts down here, but they're doomed to go one way into the sea because the coast is eroding very, very fast here. At low tide, that makes a good photograph. I'll uh, stick it in the video. That is Benbridge Lifeboat Station. I got a very good shot of that lifeboat station at dawn one morning. I'll put it in the video. That sea fort there is St. Helen's Fort, and they're known as Palmerston Follies. There's four forts. I think that's St. Helen's Fort, as I said. I think the other ones are Spitbank Fort, Horse Sand Fort, and No Man's Land Fort. They were built in the 1860s by Lord Palmerston, who was Prime Minister of the country, because he thought the country was under threat from the French and they might invade from the sea. So to protect Portsmouth, he built those forts. I think one of them at least is a property that people live on and I think the other three are used uh, by the government for training people for certain things. The whole of Benbridge Harbour is covered by houseboats. I think I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew today, walk-wise, so I'm really having to get a leg on 
This is Benridge Windmill, built in 1747, owned by the National Trust, and it's the only windmill on the Isle of Wight. I'm here. That's my tent. Now I will put the location down there. Well, I'm listening to a bit of music. Eric Clapton, I shot the sheriff. Uh, I've turned it down a bit for you. But yeah, quite happy. So uh, see you in the morning. Well, I had a good night. I slept right through. Really nice. Um, there's my tent. The sea is that way. This is a disused quarry or mar pit I've used before. So, um, I, you know, t time ran out, so I decided to come here. I was gonna find somewhere different, but yeah, I thought it was gonna rain and it, it got dark quite quickly. Well, it didn't get dark quickly, it got dark normally, but I, I was, uh, I extended myself a little bit too far by walking too far. And then I realized I couldn't find a camping spot where I wanted to go. So I had to sort of turn back on myself and come back here. But I had a good, I had a really good day yesterday. I thought it was going to rain. The BBC always gets it wrong. And I really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I didn't carry any food with me uh, this time, except a couple of tins of tuna, really. And that's it. I'm going to have that for breakfast. And a couple of energy bars, which I ate yesterday. So I haven't had a lot to eat, but... Um, I don't feel that hungry, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'm gonna pack up in a minute and get my show on the road. All packed up, ready to go, nothing left on site, so I'll see you later. Or see you next week, actually. <laughs>